you guys, I can't, I have no words. I can't believe I'm sharing this with you, but here we go. Hey guys, it's Jess from She's the Posh and I have an update for you, something that I learned. I have some more tea slash information on Rebag. They have a new Rebag Plus and we need to talk about it. I make videos anytime I want, so please remember to hit subscribe below, ring that bell, so we can become best friends here on the internet. Okay guys, I don't know how my channel has turned into a channel where we just expose things. Again, this is all alleged, it's my opinion. I'm sharing stories of things people have told me. I'm sharing things that I found on the internet that is open to everybody. I'm gonna make my own opinion, you make your own opinion, and let's get to it. So I kinda wanna give you a background of what kinda started this whole thing, is someone had sent me a program that Rebag had just started. It's called Rebag Plus. What is it, you ask? I don't really know either. So I looked at it, it looked like some kind of membership. It's kind of vague, but what they're saying is you have to put at least $50 a month, you could do more or less, and basically that's gonna get turned into rebag credit. So you do 50, you do rebag credit, and they're gonna give you an extra 2% on that. And then they say plus other bonuses and perks. They don't really explain what those are. Are you gonna get added discounts and stuff like that? They did used to have a tiered system for their diamond members, but they've lost a lot of us diamond members because a lot of people they've been screwing over, treating us terribly. They've lost a lot of us diamond members. So you put that $50 in the month and it'll become $51, right? So that's the thing. It's like this money is going to build up. You're going to save. So it kind of seems like they're trying to do like a handbag banking where they're going to put this into rebag credit in your rebag wallet for you. I don't understand who would be interested in this except for someone that is trying to save up. However, you can get a lot more than 2% or 5%, even if they change it to something more from stocks, from a money market, from online banking. So I don't really see the value of this program, but being very vague with the other benefits you're gonna get. So of course I don't recommend it. So what I decided to do is I was gonna just look at the terms because I thought, okay, they've got, we gotta read these terms. I gotta give the people information. So if someone sees this Rebag Plus, maybe they do their own research because you really should look into the terms of a business to kind of see what the fine print is so you can figure out what's going on. And I used to really beat myself up about the terms when those had changed, but I didn't realize that they no longer insured their bags. I didn't realize that I was really putting my items at risk when I sent. And if you're not sure about that story, check the playlist. So let's get into the first thing of tea, and then I have an update on Nala, what she's going through right now. It's, it's crazy. What that prompted me to do was to look at the terms and conditions. One of the things in the terms and conditions, it says that anytime you use their services, anytime like you send a bag, be looked at for a quote, you send something in for a trade, you purchase anything, you're basically using their service that you're agreeing to terms and conditions, whether they've updated or not. They're not going to send you the terms and anytime through email. I don't think they legally have to. I'm not quite sure how that works. They should send you stuff when things have changed but they don't have to. And again, they have the terms on their website, but they say it is your responsibility to look at that. And we all know that I've been looking at those terms. I've seen them change several times. So far, I've noticed they've changed since I've been having this drama since September, they've at least changed three times. That's also because they added a few new programs, consignment feature, and now they recently added this Rebag Plus, and then they made some changes to risk of loss. They added that part where the risk of loss of packaging. So if they send something back to you, say you send your Chanel bag with the cards, the original box and receipts and all that stuff, and they say they don't want it, or they, you know, they send it back to you because they refuse the trade. They don't owe you any of that stuff back. You might get your dust bag back. You might not. They added that part. So I noticed those three three just right off the bat as I was looking. And then again, I looked at that part like, yeah, they said that we need to check these terms. They also in that part says the date and the terms are changed will be located at the bottom. So I was curious. I'm like, oh, I wonder when this, this changed last. They added this rebag plus, they just added all of that to it. So I scrolled to the bottom of the page and I saw the date and the date says that these terms have not been updated since April 
27, 2022. Now, first thing I thought, I'm like, oh, that's weird. I'm like, oh, it must be a typo. 2022 instead of 2024. So it's just a typo. Because also in the terms they say, we're not responsible for any typos and stuff. So I didn't think about it, but I said, you know, I'm gonna do some research. I looked at it and I noticed at the time that I was looking at it, it was April 24th. So the 27th hasn't happened. And I said, that's pretty weird that it would be that date. So then I decided to give them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe that's a typo. So I did the Wayback Machine. If you're not sure about the Wayback Machine, it is a site that you can use to show snapshots or screenshots of websites at that particular time. So this thing takes pictures of the website so many times a year and you can see a snapshot of that. So I put it in the Wayback Machine and what was lucky is that there was a snapshot taken April 26th, 2022. And there has been several ones after that. So I decided, let's see what the date was then. So I looked and the date, it was last update was in November on April 26, 2022. I said, oh, so maybe they actually did update the terms in April 27, 2022, because again, that was the future when I was looking at it. So then I looked at the next available date. I believe it was June or October of 2022. And sure enough, we get the same date. Then I started looking at all the other terms and they're all the same date. They have never updated the date at the bottom. So this got me thinking, this is so, if this isn't illegal, this is very deceitful. So if I am responsible for reading the terms, how would I know that the terms have changed based on that date? Put the links down below so you can check for it yourself. So when I looked at the Wayback Machine, a lot of stuff has changed. There's whole section that was removed since that time. There's all these added sections. The wallet section didn't exist. So I started looking at major changes. I'm not talking punctuation. I'm not talking a little bit of words. Like they added that one sentence at the bottom. I'm talking eight. I found eight major changes done to the terms from that date to the current and they never updated the date at the bottom. So if you were to purchase something from them, you would look at that date at the bottom and think you wouldn't have to reread those terms, correct? If I was doing my due diligence, I read those and I saw that they had not updated, why would I reread? So either Rebag is super incompetent that they don't know days and there's at least eight big changes, eight times they've gone in there, updated it, and they never thought to change the date. They're that stupid, they're that incompetent, or they're being deceitful. Either one, either one is not good. And that, in my opinion, means you should never trust them with this Rebag Plus system. You should never trust them with your money with your items, with anything. Take that with what you will. I don't know if there's any legal things we can do. I am sharing this with my caseworker from New York to see what she can do with that. I know it is not illegal not to change the date at the bottom. The last time it was updated. However, it is recommended that you do so. It is terrible business practice not to inform your consumer that you have changed things, you have added things, there's new things in the terms that is very deceitful and it isn't good. That is the tea I was going to share with you, but something else happened, guys. My friend Nyla just reached out to me today and I felt compelled. I was going to film tomorrow. I was going to do something more fun. We we're going to do more handbag stuff, but I had to let you guys know this. So she gave me permission to share this. She has been dealing with her problems with Reback. If you haven't seen, please click on our video. Briefly, I had mentioned that she had received an empty box from Rebag. The box is not tampered with. She filmed herself opening it because she's a YouTuber. She filmed herself opening it. And what she received was an untampered box opened that was wrapped, but nothing but bubble wrap was in there. I gave you my theory that the bag was lost and maybe a Rebag employee was worried about getting in trouble because they didn't have the merchandise that they wrapped up and sent an empty one because they knew based on how Rebag does things, that they will never believe the customer and they will believe that the customer tried to steal it. I've seen different comments like this on Glassdoor, which is a platform where people can do reviews on working for Rebag. Basically, in the opinion of some Glassdoor reviewers that Rebag doesn't trust their customers and also they think negatively of their employees and they're disposable. So that is an opinion that I've seen on there. And based on how they've handled this situation, I tend to agree. So in her video, she talks about how her situation was. Rebag has refused to give her her money back. And they also refused to return the bag that she had sent as a trade. They have since sold that bag. She is out about $500 to $600 in the trade amount that she was promised. 
However, she had a video of it. She shared it with her bank and her bank disputed the charge. Rebag no longer has her money. The money has been taken away from them due to her bank, due to the proof that she showed them. All first happened and she was having such a hard time reaching out to them. She did the Better Business Bureau. And I've told you guys before that the Better Business Bureau is kind of a glorified review. They try to be a mediator. However, they aren't like a government entity. They aren't someone that's gonna prosecute or do anything on your behalf. They just try to mediate. So she had reached out to that because she also wanted that to be out there because the Better Business posts are public. Anybody can see the business response and her response. Obviously they redact the names. They redact some of the companies. Like for example, if she's talking about FedEx, they redact that. They did that with my post that I had originally put on there and they don't have the name, so it's anonymous, but you can kind of see the business response. So she had posted on there and she got the response to that Better Business Bureau post where basically threaten her and say that they have the proof that they sent the bag and they are gonna go after her bank because she told them that she disputed it and she got the money back from her bank. So they are on this post, not, not reaching out to her personally because she's a Diamond member, not calling her on the phone, not emailing her personally, on this post that everyone sees, they're trying to villainize her and make her seem like she's the bad guy because everybody's gonna see this post, right? They're trying to save face by insulting her on a public platform. But my girl, my queen wrote back to them. And I really hope she does a video on this update. I think she's just waiting until some time has passed because she's really upset and she's not a negative person. She hates sharing negativity. That is not her life. She is a beautiful life. She has a beautiful man. She has beautiful family, all this stuff. This is not what she wants to share. So she's got me to help share it. But they had told her that they were going to come after her because she didn't pay. She responds like the queen that she is. And she says, I have the video of me opening a perfectly sealed box with nothing in it. She has yet to share that on any social media platform at all. She decided she didn't want that drama in her life. She didn't want to share that. But if they are going to come after her for something, she goes, come after me and I will share this video publicly to everyone. And that is on the Better Business Bureau post that people are gonna see that she has video footage. They came after her who has a video, who has all this evidence of what could happen. They have the nerve to try to threaten her to save face. And this is the result. And guys, no wonder they're coming up with this Reback Plus program. This is a cash grab, guys. Anyone can see that. They are trying to get cash on hand right now. Why are they fighting? They sent her air and they are fighting. They stole $500, $600 from her and they're still coming after her. She has video footage that they have seen, <laughs> that they have seen that proves what happened to them. And they are still fighting tooth and nail trying to get this money because they're not doing well. Do not do the Rebag Plus. When your money becomes credit, you can never convert that back to cash. Once Rebag goes under, they don't owe you anything. They don't owe you your bags and consignment. They should send them back. But technically, once they go under, they owe you nothing. They have to sell all their stuff and pay other people they owe. They don't have to pay people that gave them credit. So guys, be careful. It's a big scam, in my opinion, to try to get your cash because here's how I think, based on what happened to my wonderful friend, Nyla, based on what happened to her, they take your money and they send you air. They send you air and then they keep your money and then they talk bad about you. I just, I can't, I have no words, guys. Like just when you think Rebag can't get any worse, they're getting worse. So when I was looking back, I decided, I was like, Nyla, let me show you my Better Business Bureau post because hers isn't public yet. So I went, let me show you mine. And I had the post back in September of last year. That's when I posted it. It was 920 is when I first did it because I was trying to deal with them. And that's when I did my Better Business Bureau post. And you know how you have little tabs? Since September till now, I had to go 13 tabs, 13 tabs to get to mine. And there's 27 tabs. All of that has happened since my post happened. It's not a coincidence. It is not your customer that is trying to steal from you. Your customer isn't trying to steal and your employees aren't trying to beat the system. Your customer is trying to be treated like a human. Same with your people. Like they just wanna be treated like a human and treated as important and not just disposable. So guys, give me your opinion down below. What do you think's going on? All this information I gave to you, what do you think is happening? Is this a cash grab? Is Rebag in trouble? 
Cause I think, I don't think you do crazy things like this. It screams desperate. It screams, we ain't got no money. It screams, we're going under. Discuss. And as always, I want to thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again. Bye guys.